Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be discussing my Marine Master 1000, a.k.a. the Emperor Tuna. I'll put all the specifications up over here on the left while we talk about this watch. This watch is the pinnacle of diving. In my opinion, there's, there's no other better dive watch than this. You have the lineage. You have um, you have the depth rating, and you have the unique style of what they call the tuna. Now, the reason why they call this watch the tuna is because it's shaped like a tuna can. And this watch, being 52 millimeters in circumference, really wears like about a 44 or 45, and that's because it's a lugless design. Now, if you take a look at the bottom... You see the lugs are tucked inside of where the case is. See that? So that means that this watch can be worn on the wrist that is a lot smaller uh, than normal. Now my wrist is 7.25 inches and it fits on my wrist just fine. I actually like the way it fits. And I wear it on this rubber strap and I also have a, a Strapco uh, Metal Engineer 2 bracelet that I wear it on also. But this watch is super comfortable. The silicone is super comfortable. It has the lovely uh, gold hardware and a Seiko gold buckle. And this watch is beautiful because it has the gold colored titanium bezel, ceramic insert, uh, titanium uh, colored screws, ceramic shroud. Yes, that's a ceramic shroud. That's not metal. And you have a gold uh, crown. And this is one of the most loveliest screw down crowns in the operation of it. And if you take look close, you see it has the Prospects X. So this watch is still a Prospect model. As you can see, it does have the X. And I think that's where it should be, not on the dial. Now looking at the dial, this model is still in, product, in production, sort of. Um, I'll put a comparison picture of this my watch and the watch that's in current production right over here on the left and as you can see the um, handset's different the printing's different um, and that's about it just the dial and the hands are different and just about everything else uh, is the same I prefer the uh, Marine Master text personally on here I think it looks a lot better um, so you have the Marine Master text down there in a the gold gilt. And this watch has um, a copious amount of loom. And what I do like about this watch is that it doesn't have anything applied. The, the loom is applied directly to the um, dial. You have no applied markers. The Seiko sign is just a frosted Seiko sign. The Marine Master um, automatic 1000 meter text is also um, just uh, ink painted on there, which is really lovely printing. Now, you have a date at uh, 430, which is, I think, where it should be. On the new watch, they moved it up to 3 o'clock, and they kind of screwed up the symmetry of the dial, in my opinion, where you no longer get the, the uh, three full indices at uh, 3 six and nine like you do on this one and you don't have the arrow up top or the arrow hour hand they kind of switched it up a little bit um i don't mind it but i like i just prefer this one better it's, it's a lot nicer um in my opinion now you have the uh bellow style um rubber strap which is super comfortable and seiko invented that and then on the back here um you just have some printing uh marine master Right down here at the bottom, try to get a good angle of this. Then you have HE divers. And this watch is uh, built for saturation diving and it doesn't need a helium escape valve like um, 
most watches that go this deep have because the helium never gets in because this watch has special technology and special L, uh, L-shaped gaskets. And the most fantastic thing about this is the loom. But let's get to the time grapher and see what this is running. This has an 8L35 movement, which is basically an undecorated Grand Seiko movement. I'll just put it on. It's running 11 seconds a day, 290 degrees um, amplitude. And it's a 28,800 beats per hour uh, high beat uh, movement in there, not a 21.6. Uh, drop down to 8. And I know this watch, so when it settles down, it settles down right to around um, 5 seconds a day, depending on um, position. But the 8L35 movement is really nice. Um, you get a 50 hours power reserve. And you just can't beat the watch. So the watch is running real good. And it's just a nice watch. Now, on this crystal, I'm going to try to do it. If you angle it at a certain angle, you'll get a green U. And you'll see that green AR coating. See how it's clear? And then when I go tilt it, it turns green. So it has a lot of green AR coating on here. And you can really see that out in the sun. And that's one of the things that make this watch um, uh, unique and special. And I'll put over here a shot in, of it uh, in the sun, the way it, the way it does that. So... That's pretty cool. Now, you're getting to the loom. It has a uh, Seiko's strongest formula, Luma Bright, which is sure because this is a professional diving watch. And I'll turn the lights off and we can see it. That's the loom. It lasts all night, truly lasts all night. Not like some of those videos where it fades out in an hour or whatever or whatnot. This isn't going to fade this is honestly going to be legible and readable throughout the whole night um without any problems and um i promise you that if you buy that if you buy this watch so that's it's, it's just that good it's just that strong it's just that potent so what do you guys think about this watch um it's still in production just not under this name. The Emperor has new clothes. But I happen to like mine better. I just do. So tell me what you guys think. That's the watch once over. My name is Big E. And I'll talk to you guys later.